the last day of pregnancy. I got a ache inside of me. It's a deep hole where I bleed. Oh, can I see you later? You're like an ocean without land. Not a single grain of sand. I'm drifting on it. So cold. Hi guys, my name is Jenya and I am pregnant with twin boys. I am almost 38 weeks and I'm going to have my C-section the day after tomorrow. So, so I wanted to make a video, something like last 24 hours before I go to the hospital to have my twin babies. And I would like to start right now. Right now it's around, I don't know, 5 p.m. Have been cleaning the house but I have been low on energy and I also just reorganized my pantry. My husband's mother is coming to look after our two toddlers. We have toddlers two and four years old. And while we're at the hospital, my, my husband's mother is going to be looking after them. And so I wanted to reorganize the pantry to make sure that she knows where things are, as well as just do the shopping and just restock things so that she doesn't have any problems with feeding the kids or making something very easy. And also my um, eye, something's wrong with my eye. I feel like it's getting really red, if you can see that. And it's really uncomfortable. And I feel like there's like this white stuff coming out of it every once in a while. So, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna, I do have a little bit of makeup on. What I'm gonna do is just take all of the makeup off and spend the night like that just to see if it's gonna get any better or worse. As for tonight, my plan is to cook uh, some chicken soup with dumplings that my kids normally don't have a problem eating. It's also not, not difficult. And uh, then just rest for the rest of the night. Tomorrow is the last day where when I'm still staying at home my husband's mother is gonna show up at some point but i also have an appointment with my daughter my four-year-old daughter we'll see what else happens tomorrow but i will continue the vlog but i would like to start it right now so welcome and i hope you enjoy all right so right now i'm gonna take off all of my makeup and then go to the kitchen and start on the soup <laughs> I'm also a little bit sick as I went to my doctor's appointment yesterday I told them that I might be getting a little bit sick but all they were worried about is that if that's COVID or not and other than that you know I don't think they're gonna cancel c-section because I got a little bit of a cold but my nose is just a little bit blocked and I just hope there's nothing serious with the eye like uh, um, can't remember the name of that those things that happen with the eyes but Okay, so, <clears throat> still kind of red, but yeah. I used some drops and they look like this. Fingers crossed that everything will be fine. I'm gonna go downstairs and start on the soup. This one. This one, okay. Well, let's go downstairs, we're gonna. We're not reading the book right now. We're going to have dinner first. We haven't even had dinner yet. Yeah.
Okay, so this is our pantry. Boston sauce, the um, labels here as well. This is our the cat snacks are over here. Sides and cooking. I'm not really good at names, but sides and all sort of cooking kind of extra stuff like and seasonings and condiments. This is uh, my cat's uh, special treats as well. And all of the condiments that have not been opened and we have a backup of. Then we have all of the nuts, seeds, and dried fruits. And these are the ones that we use for breakfast. These are the ones that are favorite for snacks for the kids. These are just extra for kids or for people, for whatever. And in the back, I have backup of whatever is in here. If I have any backups, same thing. So whole cashews were about to run out. So there, etc. And this is the last one. I organize everything in mason jars. There's a couple more jars that I need to finish, but that's pretty much it. I hope she, my husband's mom, will understand what's going on in here. I hope that makes sense. Is that for me? Yes. From you or from Annie? Yeah, it's from Annie, but it's from me. <laughs> so. Yeah. Husband got these for me, these two. Uh, he said, after looking at my eye, he said, why don't you try this one because he has always had pink eye as a child and he kind of knows what it feels like and looks like so he thinks I should start with this at least. Mommy. Yeah? Mommy. You're driving the car? They're soft.
my eyes worse and we have decided that it's an infection tomorrow is the last day right now it's uh like nine o'clock i'm about to take a shower and go to sleep i'll scroll through my phone a little bit just youtube videos and then go go to sleep um the dinner was absolutely amazing the kids asked for seconds and then thirds but yeah um time to rest <sighs> good morning so today is the last day of pregnancy week 37 day 6 and tomorrow is the c-section i am a little bit better i believe with my eye the agenda for today is clean up the house clean up the playroom and the bathroom and change our sheets change the kitty litter <laughs> i'm not supposed to be doing that pregnant but anyway i don't like the way my husband does it doctor's appointment and then my husband's mom is coming i'm gonna make myself a coffee and i don't know if i want to dedicate all of the energy that i have today to cleaning the house not really i want to just have a couple of hours to myself which i hardly ever have so welcome to the last day Also, did I not say I have an appointment with my daughter, my four-year-old, for her vision and her hearing? And we gotta get it done today because I'm gonna need to need some papers from them because she's starting pre-K this month, a little bit later, and there is no time to reschedule or wait for later. This is the only opening I had for her appointment. We gotta get it done today around two o'clock in the afternoon. So that's also on the list.
Okay, so I have been cleaning the house. I have cleaned the guest room. My husband's downstairs working. He's helping me here and there where he can, but he's having a really busy day at work as well. Uh, the grandma or my mother-in-law is about to show up and I'm still cleaning our bedroom, just changing the sheets. But other than that, whole house looks halfway decent. I've cleaned their bathroom and stuff like that. So now we are going to the appointment and I did give a call to my, um, my OBGYN, my C-section specialist <laughs> to let them know what's going on with my eye. They said not to worry unless it's something really, really like just crazy. Nothing crazy. I seem to be a little bit better, I think. And I think I'm leaning towards that it was a uh, pink eye. It is a pink eye, but I've never had any kind of eye infection before, so I don't know what's going on. Anyway, we're going to go to the appointment now. I am pop pop. Grandma, grandpa. Yeah, I am pop pop. Came to see you and be with you for quite a few days. Are, are you ready to go yeah. to the doctor? Let's go meet your doctor. Bye. I almost always forget to turn my car off. What is wrong with me? <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna go get ice cream. Uh, that's a free scoop of ice cream because that's what the doctors uh, give you a coupon for ice cream after shots. Apparently, Anya had to take three shots into her leg. Oh my god. You okay, baby? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go get ice cream now and then chocolate cake. <laughs> And right now it's already almost four o'clock. Uh, we're gonna go get ice cream and then chocolate cake. I promised her the world if she was to just give, uh, take the shots. So she had three big shots on her legs. And now at least she is done until she's 11 years old. So we're gonna go and get her ice cream, then chocolate cake, and then head back home. Let's go, baby. Yeah. It's a lot of ice cream. You got milkshake mm -hmm. on your arm? This is so yummy. Mm -hmm. There's the cake. He <laughs> got the cake. Good job. All right, let's get some beans. Uh, Jesus. Uh, I would be. I gotta get this. I gotta get this. be nine o'clock in the evening I'm in my closet trying to sort out the situation and I'm already halfway through but I just I'm feeling a little bit kind of happy but very nervous at this point I think my kitty is feeling it she's being right here with me I'm just trying to make sure that everything is in the bags I went through all of my notes we went to pick up Olive Garden and we had that for dinner so I had pasta I drove with my husband we kind of just had a nice time 
had a little drive while the grandparents looked after our kids so yeah it's been a pleasant evening but now I'm starting to get worried a little bit I think I'm just gonna go take a shower and tomorrow morning is a new day and a completely different life <laughs> so yeah see you soon